So given that y equals this equation here, where x is positive, find in the simplest form dy of dx and the integral of y with respect to x. Okay, so before you even do any of this, the first thing you should always do is simplify this equation as much as you can and get rid of the fraction. So I just partitioned this. I did firstly, I split this into two fractions, so 2 over 6, x 2 thirds plus 3 over 6. And tidying that up, 2 over 6 gives you a third, and 3 over 6 gives you a half. So you should, you should get something like that. Now, to find dy dx, it's just a case of um, following the steps. So dy dx simply tells us that we should firstly drop the power 2 thirds down, which gives us a 2 thirds times a third, which is 2 ninths, and then subtract the power by 1. And that will give us a negative 1 third. And that's it. And if you differentiate half or that gives you 0, because a differentiating a constant is always 0. There's no x terms attached. All right, so that's easy. That's simple dy dx. Now for the integral, this is also quite a straightforward process. So looking at each term head on, all I did is firstly increase the power by one because integrating is opposite. You increase the power one and using that increase term, divide it underneath, throw it underneath. So you should get x to the power two thirds plus one, which is actually five thirds by the way, and then, the, and then throw it underneath. So it'd be two thirds plus one, so five thirds. And at times against 3 because that's also underneath and that should give us 5. So x to the power 5 over 3 over 5. And then the next term half will integrate it. If, if there's no x, just stick an x. So half times x is x over 2. And of course, never forget the plus c. And that's it guys. That's literally number 1 done. So let's move on to question 2.